Oh, that's right. It's more what should you buy. This time it's Kingdom Come 2. Wait, Kingdom... Wait. Kingdom, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Come Deliverance 2. 2. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Did you ever mm -hmm. play the first one? No. So I think... tried it when okay. it came out. And it's one of those like games that's like super historically accurate. And the combat was like you had to it was like a circle and you had to like predict where they were going to attack and you had to kind of like beat it. It was like a stupid rock, paper, scissors like Go. combat system. I could never understand it. I hated it, <laughs> but uh, I, I watched a lot of it like other people play it and the game was like amazing. Really? So the second one's got a lot of hype, I think, to it. Okay, when did it come out? You the know, the first one was like. I want to say like it was 2017, 2018. I think the first one. Gotcha. Okay. I don't know well, if the second one's out yet. Um, no, I don't think it's out. If this releases in, I, I assume it's the same release date as a normal game, so it'd be right next year, early February. February. Makes sense. So, um, this is priced at two hundred dollars. It comes with the the. Uh, it's the feature of the game. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, intricately detailed 12 inch statue of Henry. The, you know, hold on a second. We're going to make the light easier on ourselves. <clears throat> uh, Henry and Pebble statue, 12 inches. Okay. So that's the statue here. Let's see here. Cool. I, that's a cool box. I like the box a lot. A cool the, box. Yeah, it's a cool box. Uh, the gold edition of the game, which includes expansion pass, Lion's Crest bonus quest, and the Gallant Huntman's kit digital content, whatever that means. Uh, Ali's a cut, uh, Cuttenberg exclusive cloth map. I always like cloth maps. I, yeah, I, I, I like cloth clean. maps. Um, cloth, coats of Valor enamel pin set. I like I, that. I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah, I like that. The King's Rebels collectible cards and the Letter of Hope. What did we say this was priced at? 200. 200? Mm -hmm. So the gold edition of the game, I'm going to assume, is like $120. So it's $70. Oh, I was going to assume 100 Let's see here. Gold. 90. Wow. Oh, 90. Oh, wow. It's way cheaper. <laughs> yeah. So $90. So the rest of this is $110. Um, Here's the thing. OK, first of all, look, I like uh, the statue. Well, I, I love yeah, cool. the statue. We're getting that. I, look, I, I've come to a certain point where I just I really don't care for collectible cards. I really don't. Yeah, you know, pretty it's, it's it's yeah, it's pretty, pretty useless. Like, it, I, I think they just want to get some extra mileage out of their artists. You know, it's like, OK, yeah. happy, you know, make you know, design some some cards. Uh, Letter of Hope. Uh, I, I, you know, OK, I could have just got this in an email, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's it's fine, right? right? Like it's it's OK. I. But the rest of it, I like a lot, though. The the, the statue is really nice. Like the statue's clean it, it, and it's 12 inches tall. So, you know, that's a yeah, for a statue, right? right? It's pretty good size. Uh, three pins. I can't tell if that little sword on the cloth map is a pin as well, but at least three pins. Oh, no, it's code. So I assume it's the it's the shields, which is cool. Right. I like that. All right. I mean, I'm a, I'm a slut for pins, so uh, pins are fine with me. The I like a cloth. I probably do like the cloth map. And cool. then I wonder well, what that sword thing is there. Yeah, I don't know if that's it. Is that listed? Uh, unfold rich lore. Let's see. We're trying to see. Adorn yourself with Coast of Valor now. Fits it. Symbols of in game honor and glory. Our bravery, collectible metal pins represent the key factions. Uh, okay. Kings. Is... I like how it comes with something to display the pins on. The bespoke base. Yeah, that's that's like really nice thing. You can actually like stand up and just have them on. <clears throat> right. Uh, hmm. And the box is pretty clean. It reminds me of the God of War Ragnarok. Yeah. Uh, collector's edition box, which was really nice. <laughs> the question, though, is it worth worth two hundred two hundred dollars? <sighs> Honestly, I, I look, I, I'll, I'll say mine. I'm going to. I'm leaning more towards yes. Are the collectible cars in Letter Hope basically worthless? Absolutely. But yeah. the the quality of the statue does look really nice, and, and the the pins are just like well, I don't even, I don't even know how to value the pins. But right, if, just, if if we're just looking at this at 110 value, right? Because right. the the game the gold edition is 90. Yeah, so there's a 110 value in terms of the items themselves. 
I feel like the statue itself is like at least 80. And then right. cloth map is just nice and pins. You're usually I don't know why they're priced so much usually, but like eight, we'll just say 15 for this one. And the cloth map, I, I feel like I don't think 200. I, I think 200 is just the breaking point where anything above. I'd say no way. That's yeah. that's, that's how I put it. But I, what, what do you, I, I yeah. think I would probably never get it myself, but I could see the value there at 200. And right. No, like yeah, yeah. History buff, I guess it's like it's a cool piece. Like, even if you never told anybody uh, it was from like a video game, like that's just a cool statue <laughs> and be like, oh, it was like a guy who fought in middle t medieval times. Right. <laughs> but where's uh, the horse wiener? Right. How? Yeah. <laughs> when I flip this statue over, hold on. How much girth are we getting for $200? Um, yeah, I, you know, what? honestly, and I know the first game was really good, so I have high hopes for the second game. Right. I'd say, yeah, you know what? I'd say it's worth it. If you're really into it, I'd say go for it. Yeah, like if, if, think about it this way. If this was like in a Skyrim version, would you get it? Like instead of, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like you're on, like, yeah. So if you're that big of a fan for 200 bucks, I really don't think it's like, uh, again, uh, the, the cards and the, in the note, the letter. Yeah, I mean, like, what, what would you do with the letter? <laughs> like, you know, like, are you really right, gonna you can frame <laughs> it and hang it if you're really that like diehard of a fan, right? But I and also I hate when they advertise collectible yeah. cards, like as if there's more cards to obtain. Like, no, you have it, you, you got it all, you know? Right, right. Like, what? I, I don't know. So I, yeah, uh, I'd say yeah. Uh, you know, what? I'd say this is worth it. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred bucks if you're a fan. If you're a big enough fan for it. Um. Uh, if you haven't played the first yeah. one, I would not bank on getting this in assuming the second one's going to be like as good. Right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, other than that, though, I, I do like it. I, I, I wish it was like maybe priced around 180, but I, I think 200 again, it's just just at the spot where it's an, it. Right. It's like when you it's fill the glass, just, it's like, you know, when you pull, pull water in a glass, and it gets like the bubble on top of the rim. So it doesn't right. <laughs> so it's like you, at that point, you know, any any more. Yeah. Um, anymore would be too much <laughs> right and uh, so yeah i mean like it's worth it yeah, it's, yeah and it's cool uh, it's like a statue game like i would never get this but like i could see the value there and it's cool enough right yeah. so i would i would say get it if you're a fan uh, i wouldn't risk Anybody it if else? you're not yeah it's up you to you. <laughs> yeah if you're right. like a history buff it's kind of cool too so but Otherwise, and yeah. also remember this: never get it from GameStop. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're we're anti-sponsored yeah. by GameStop. Uh, don't shop there. Don't walk in their stores because they'll just harass you. And uh, yeah, buy it anywhere else. <laughs> Can you imagine if a company paid us to just trash talk GameStop? Like anti, it's anti sponsorship. Brought to, it's brought to you by uh, EB Games. EB Games, screw you, GameStop. Yeah. <laughs> screw you, GameStop. We're uh, we're be yeah. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, become a member today. Join our Discord. Members get early access to the kind of videos, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, Neil.